differentials can be used to estimate errors. Suppose I have something, a measurement of some sort, and I measure, um, or I measure it, and I get some f of x. But the actual real value is f of x plus delta x. So I measure radiuses or distances or something, and I'm getting a difference between the exact value, so let's call this right here my exact value, it's right there. Okay, so this is f of x, and this part right here is delta x, this extra little part right here. This is the exact value, but I'm measuring just this part. All right, then what is this part right here? This is my error. Um, there are ways we can use differentials to measure our error. Suppose, for example, I have the radius of a ball bearing is measured to be 0.7 inches. So I'm measuring R is 0.7 inches. And I'm going to write the word measured here to remind me that it's measured. If the measurement is correct within 0.01 inches, all right, so here I have a possible error within 0.01 inches. So the absolute value of my error is 0.01, which tells me um, delta R is somewhere between negative 0.01 or 0.01. So it could be over or under. How can I approximate the propagated error to the volume. Well, let me come over. Um, I know that the volume of my ball bearing, well, it's a circle, it's a sphere, so the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, so I know dvdr is 4 pi r squared all right, I'm going to do that. So I know dv is equal to 4 pi r squared dr. So I have a differential volume here. I'm going to make the approximation that delta v is approximately equal to dv. So what does this equal? This equals 4 pi r squared dr. Now, let me plug in my values. This is 4 pi. My measured value of r is 0.7 squared, and dr is plus or minus 0.01. So I get a possible volume error of 0 0.06158 cubic inches. And it could be plus or minus. Now we can look at whether this is a good error or a bad error. Now in order to do that, let's look at dv divided by the actual volume. This is just going to give us a relative error. Alright, so dv is 4 pi r squared dr divided by the actual volume which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So this is 3 dr over r. So this is approximately equal to 3 dr is plus or minus 0 0.01 and r in this case is 0.7. So this is about equal to plus or minus 0 0.0429. And putting this in percentages, this is 4.29%. Depending upon your standards, this may be close enough.